Good afternoon. Time for a little glimpse inside the Fed meeting there last month. Um, just yesterday, we had Fed, Fed minutes released from the previous meeting. Um, and in this last week or so, we've also had a lot of uh, high inflation data and some retail sales numbers come out as well. So we will break all of that down here uh, today in our weekly session. My name is Brandon Steele, financial advisor with Main Sale Financial Group here in Bellevue. And our goal every Thursday at three is to bring to you the market news, the data, uh, some of the trends we're watching and weed out some of the noise along the way. So again, this week we are uh, back Fed focused with uh, basically, you know, let's say inflation jobs to some degree, um, consumer and more importantly, Fed minutes uh, kind of in the spotlight here. Before I get to the Fed minutes, which is maybe where I want to spend most of the time here today, uh, I want to touch briefly on uh, on retail sales. So retail sales numbers came out on Tuesday and actually grew by 0.7%, uh, much, much larger than expected. And then we've seen some retailers come out uh, with earnings this week as well and been pretty strong. So uh, very interesting to see it. You know, it's showing... Um, the benefits of, I guess, these, you know, these strong, strong uh, retail sales numbers through some of these earnings reports and just amazing to see the consumer just continues to, to spend and continues to be strong, uh, even in all the, uh, the midst of potential concerns here. So uh, definitely an important data point there on Tuesday. And then back last Friday, it was, we had PPI numbers come out, producer price index. So another measurement of inflation, although it's on the producer side of it, as opposed to the consumer side of it, but nonetheless, important data point to watch and PPI rose 0.3% in July. So this was actually slightly above the expectations and a jump up again from last month as well. And with that, uh, maybe that's a good kind of like tee up, I guess, for our Fed Minute conversation. So yesterday on Wednesday, we had the Fed minutes come out from their meeting last month. And, uh, you know, obviously this, this PPI number on Friday shows that inflation is still persistent, to say the least. Now, it may be coming down slightly, uh, although this month, not so much on PPI. But nonetheless, it, it's still here. And the Fed minutes yesterday certainly reiterated that fact. Uh, the minutes basically suggested that uh, there's a lot of upside risk still to the inflation numbers. So in other words... Uh, their concern is that inflation could not just kind of stay where it is, but actually tick up again. It, it's possible that inflation spikes again and moves at a quicker rate. So that's one of the big risks that they're focused on. And they had suggested in those minutes that it is very likely that continue, continued hikes will be necessary to kind of combat that risk. So, you know, it's it's kind of a continued theme of the same story, yet the same day, <laughs> the same minute, uh, what we saw was actually a shift in how the market was pricing the expectations for a Fed cut in 2024. So same minute, the Fed is comes out with their, their meeting minutes suggesting that inflation is going to stick around longer than expected, there's risk to the upside, and that it's very likely continued hikes are necessary to combat that. The market says, we don't believe you. And basically uh, suggests that, you know, there's a higher probability that the Fed cuts next week or next year. So very interesting to see this discrepancy between what the Fed says and what the markets are doing. Um, that said, overall, like as we've looked at just the markets over the past, you know, week or two here, um, we are seeing a slight pullback again. So uh, nothing huge, but we're about three, four percent off the highs uh, from just a couple of weeks ago in 2023. So it's not a huge pullback by any means, but maybe this is a, a sign that the markets are taking the Fed a little more seriously lately. Obviously, we will we will wait to see. And the Fed, you know, next Fed meeting is coming up in September. So still some time ahead of that meeting as well. Uh, but nonetheless, definitely a little bit of a pullback here lately after a great run, don't get me wrong, um, but we are seeing a little bit of a fizzle on that excitement and a little bit of pullback off of the highs here for the year. Again, just about 3 4% off the highs there. On the flip side, on the bond market uh, is telling a, a very different story. So treasury yields, 10-year treasuries are up near 4.2% again. So 
It's been a big, big jump in treasury yields lately as well, which means that bond prices, um, you know, can c- come down there. So uh, very interesting to see this again, this like this divergence between how different markets are reacting and, you know, how um, how how the markets are moving around these Fed decisions, these Fed minutes, these Fed comments, you name it. Uh, last thing to touch on here for this week is today we also had initial jobless claims come out, uh, two hundred ninety or two hundred thirty nine thousand. Excuse me. Uh, so nothing really to dig in too much here, but I did want to touch on it briefly since jobs are obviously still very important in this conversation as well. And then coming up next week, we've got a lot of housing data on the horizon, so definitely tune in next Thursday at three. We'll kind of share with you a glimpse into what is going on in the housing market world of things, uh, whereas most of our time is obviously typically spent on the stock market. Uh, next week, we'll spend a little more time on the housing housing data. Uh, we will we'll actually skip the question of the week here this week, uh, just because we have an event coming up tonight. So um, we will see you next Thursday at three. And hopefully today's kind of glimpse inside the, the Fed meeting last month was helpful. Uh, we will definitely look forward to seeing you next Thursday to break down some of the housing data we get between now and then. In the meantime, have a great upcoming weekend. Enjoy the sunshine and we'll see you next week.